today I have a very exciting video for you guys as I've just been dying to try the Kat Von D Locket Tattoo Foundation because it has been absolutely raved about um, in the beauty community and just everyone loves it. So I did do a first impression. This is my absolute first impression of this foundation. I did order this online which was like... God bless me for doing that because ordering foundation online can be so risky when you're choosing your color. So I ended up choosing the perfect shade and I'll tell you guys the story of how I kind of went through choosing my shades. Um, so first off, this does come in tons of shade shades and I feel like it's kind of easy to choose your shades. She made it pretty easy. She has three different categories, light, medium, and dark. So first you just got to distinguish like, are you light, medium, dark? I'm obviously light. So I right ahead just narrowed it down to I think like four or five different shades. Through those uh, four or five different shades, she has good, pretty good descriptions describing them. So I automatically knew I was either going to be the neutral shade or the... Um, pink shade. So I ended up getting light 46. I almost, almost, almost got light 48 because it's more neutral. However, I feel like light 48 would have been a touch too dark. Something that actually made me really choose this exact color was because I posted a picture on Instagram asking my Instagram followers what shade they use and maybe comparing it to their MAC shade. So I'm an NW15 in MAC and one of my Instagram uh, followers is actually and NW15 as well. So she was like, get an uh, get a light 46. It's perfect for it's gonna be perfect for you because it was perfect for her. So I was like, thank God because I really needed someone to have the same Mac shade in, as me and to tell me what shade would match it. So light 46 is perfect if you're an NW15. Let's just get into the foundation. This is the Kat Von D Locket Tattoo Foundation 24 Hour Wear. Um, the most perfect packaging like it's just so it's classy but it still has a little bit of edge to it so I absolutely love it so it's a one fluid ounce 30 milliliter it's a I'll just say what it claims to be so it claims to be full coverage which I definitely think it is um, however I do feel like it's it can be medium if you wanted it to be. If you don't necessarily want a full coverage with this foundation, I don't think you have to have it full coverage. If you just apply a little bit, you could totally get medium. But if you apply like a good amount, you would definitely get full coverage. Um, so it's 24 hour wear, transfer res resistant. I can't comment on that yet just because I haven't worn this foundation. Matte finish, I do, it, I do think it has a matte finish. However, I think it has more of a natural matte finish. If you're familiar with using the MAC Studio Fix Fluid, I think that this is very similar to it in terms of finish. Um, it's fragrance free which I do think it's pretty fragrance free and it doesn't have any strong type of smell. Oil free and for all skin types. Um, in terms of for all skin types I think this would be great for oily skins more. Um, if you do have dry skin I think you definitely have to do more if you want to use this foundation. You're definitely going to have to make sure you moisturize your face really 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 good. I recommend using coconut oil before bed or using um, Pond's Dry Skin Cream. That really helps nourish your skin. And then you could definitely get away with using this. Um, I've heard some people mix their um, moisturizer in the actual foundation if you're super dry. So you could totally do that as well. As always, I'm going to leave some updates down below on like what I continue to think about the foundation throughout the day. And I'll comment on that whole transfer free part. Um, so this is what the bottle looks like. It's so gorgeous. Like it's just, it's so different. You know what I mean? Every foundation is just clear bottle, black cap or something. And this is just so different, but still not too different to the point where it kind of looks like weird. It's just, it's so classy yet edgy. And I absolutely love the packaging and the pump. Like hallelujah to pump foundations because nobody wants to sit there and like dig it out on their hand. So the pump is so cute. It's just this chrome pump and it has like her logo on it and um a ton of people in reviews that I watched before purchasing this foundation had complained about the fact that it was a pump and that it's not necessarily good for traveling because the pump didn't have like a clothes or they also didn't like that air would kind of seep through the pump like it didn't have a clothes if you really think about it the pump actually comes with a cap when you first purchase the foundation if I can get it off <laughs> yeah it comes with this little tiny cap so if you keep this cap and you just keep putting it back on when you're done, I mean, you really have no complaints. No air is getting inside. You could totally travel with it. It's not going to like, you know, pump itself and it's not going to explode out. You know what I mean? So if you just keep the cap, it's totally um, foolproof and travel proof and all of that. If you do have Muji drawers like I have in the back over here, 
the two large drawers it does not fit inside so I will probably just store this in my makeup drawers back here um, because it does not fit inside the Muji drawers unfortunately so on to how I actually feel about the foundation when I actually started to apply it I noticed one thing right away and that was it's actually very blendable it wasn't like dry or tacky at all it's pretty blendable and um, I actually noticed that it was really sticky after I applied it so very similar to the Revlon color stay finish um, it was pretty sticky but afterwards it does dry like right now it's not sticky at all but um it does kind of need some time to set afterwards unless you just want to go ahead and put powder on I don't feel like this foundation is cakey at all I don't know what people say what they're saying when they say that um, maybe they just put too much on I definitely think that you can put too much of this on if you aren't careful like I think one pump of this is good for a medium to full coverage but if you want a full coverage you'll see what I did in the clip I kind of did one pump at first and then I added another half of a pump um, because I didn't feel like one pump gave you full coverage. It didn't because it's just not enough to cover your face. You definitely don't want to do like three or four pumps. Like I've seen some people in their first impressions and they're just like pumping it up and at the end they're like this is disgusting too much foundation but one thing I did notice is that it covered my nose piercing scar which is huge to me left such a horrible horrible scar and none of my foundations have been able to cover it not even my MAC but I noticed that this did cover it beautifully if you guys can see there is no like barely any nose ring scar there like you can't even tell your face can feel heavy not because of the found well not because of the foundation by itself but just because the foundation itself is pretty full coverage and then if you're like it's fine on its own but then if you're gonna kind of put more products on top your face can feel slightly like you feel like is a, there's slightly something on your face a little bit like it's not a lot but a little bit if you don't like that feeling then it's nothing that's not fixable with some max um, mac fix plus or like a good setting spray so far my initial reaction on this foundation is that i absolutely love it and adore it i'm gonna go ahead and play the clip of my actual first impression so that you guys can see sort of the demo of how it applies what i use to apply it and all of that jazz so um, if you are interested in seeing that, then just make sure to keep on watching. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and get started. The way I'm going to be applying this is with my Sigma F80 Flat Top Kabuki Brush. So I've seen other people's reviews and first impressions, and I've seen that people can put too much of this on. So I think I'm just going to start with one pump for now because... Some people, a lot of people say that a little bit goes a long way with this foundation. And this is the light, the color Light 46, and I'm just going to go ahead and apply one pump. One pump definitely is a lot. Like, it comes out a lot for just being one pump. And it definitely is a pretty thick foundation. Yeah, it's like moving very, very, very slowly. So at least it still does move a little bit. So I'm actually just going to go ahead and take a little bit and just put it all around my face. I'm really hoping this is a perfect color for me. I'm actually just going to take a teeny bit more, just a tiny bit for my forehead. But I'm just going to go ahead and start stippling it in. So like, it doesn't feel like it's very hard to blend. It actually is pretty easily blendable. I'm just going to put a slight bit more on. Okay, so from what I can see so far, this is definitely a full coverage foundation. However, it can be medium. Like if you don't completely want a complete full coverage, yeah, it definitely it covered all of that right there that I had on my chin. So it's definitely full coverage, but it doesn't have to be. It seems like if you just put the slightest bit on, then you could definitely just do like a medium coverage. But if you do put like that normal or a good amount on, it's pretty full coverage. Yeah, it covered my nose ring scar pretty good, which no foundation does. So I feel like I didn't put enough on. Um, I feel like I wouldn't just do one pump. I don't know if that's just me and my preference, but I wouldn't just do one pump. I would probably do two, maybe one and a half. Probably one and a half. 
It doesn't feel cakey or heavy on my skin though, so I'm not really sure where some people on their reviews are getting that from. Um, maybe they just put too much on, like maybe if I did put two pumps it would feel cakey, but for the amount that I put on it does not feel cakey at all. Like it does, it just feels like I put any other foundation on. It is a slight bit sticky. Um, but that's also the same as my Revlon Colorstay 24 hour. It has the same kind of stickiness afterwards, but I feel like that's going to go away once it dries. So I feel like this is the type of foundation you kind of have to let sit for a little bit and let it dry. I'm so happy that the color matches me because if you've seen the intro to this video, you know that I sort of ordered it online and I kind of ma color matched myself online. So... Thank God I got it right. I'm just going to go ahead and do the rest of my makeup and I will uh, conclude my thoughts. Alright, so that was my first impressions and demo. Um, I actually really love this foundation. Like, all in all, I give this foundation like a 9.5 out of 10 just because I never give anything a 10. Like, I think the bottle is absolutely gorgeous. So if you liked this first impressions video, then please don't forget to give me a thumbs up because it lets me know what type of videos that you guys like. Um, and actually, that's what I rely on to kind of help me guide what you guys like the most. So um, whatever types of videos you guys like, please remember to always like them. Also, guys, I want to encourage you guys to uh, follow my Instagram because that is where I kind of do daily updates of, or kind of like mini picture hauls almost. I did post a Sephora picture of my package in the mail coming with the, came, that came with this and um, some other things that I got. So if you want to kind of stay up to date with me on a daily basis, then I do encourage you to follow me on there. My Instagram is Amy Macedo, A-M-Y-M-A-C-E-T-O. So um, yeah, again, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.